Hello everyone. I am Mohammad Shahid Qureshi. I am doing my final year project in the performance analysis of DWDM optical transmission system with my two colleagues Amit Kumar Yadav and Farhad Bari. I am doing it from the BSNL RTTC. I am from Valtech University. It's situated in Avdi, Chennai. As I told that I am doing the project in the performance analysis. We are using the technique of DWDM, which originally refers to the optical signal multiplex in the C band which of the frequency wavelength range of 1530 to 1565 of nanometers that, in, in, that enables to increase the throughput of minimizing the investment in this medium. In this project, we are using the concept of analysis of the bit error rate and optical signal to noise ratio to reduce the crosstalk between the two channels or the interference of the channels. As in the previous system, there was a various growing network usage pattern. For example, the bandwidth of of the system is requirement is increasing every six to nine months is getting doubled and the solution for this is by using tdm or wdm so we are here using the concept of wdm in the proposed system as the wdm is efficient use the full capacity of the optical fiber and capability of carrying signal efficiently over short distances The various problems in the existing system were there was no utilization of the medium. For example, the bandwidth of the medium was not efficiently utilized. And the previous system was protocol dependent, which uses the ATM protocol and it supports the data rates of 25 Mbps, 622 Mbps, and 2.5 Mbps, Gbps, sorry, Gbps, and much more. So this led to the birth of the DWDM, which is dense wavelength division multiplexing. The concept of DWDM is connects the transmitter and receiver with the high speed and having wide highway path of bandwidth of optical cable. It supports 10 Gbps of data in virtual fiber channel. The various principle used in the DWDM is it is a technology that puts data from different sources together in an optical fiber with each signal carried at the same time on its separate light wave. It supports multiple separate channels or wavelengths of data that can be multiplexed in the light streams followed by a transmitter on the single optical fiber. In the system, with each channel carrying 10 Gbps can be delivered by a second bias optical fiber. This is the block diagram used in the DWDM optical network. Here you can see that we are using that various input channels or wavelengths which are being multiplexed by the multiplexer, which are further amplified by the EDF amplifier. And here you can see that an optical add drop multiplexer is situated which is used to add or drop a certain frequency which is required and after that demultiplexer is situated from where we can give the different outputs of the different channels. This is a transmission window of a DWDM system as I said previously that I am using the C band of the optical fiber sorry C band of the wavelength to transmit the DWDM wavelengths which is the range of 1520 to 1560 nanometers. The frequency used in the DWDM system is about 200 gigahertz. The wavelength used is 1530 to 1565 nanometers. The maximum channel you can support is up to 160 channels and the spectral width of each channel is 0.218 nanometers, which is suitable for long distance networks. Now coming to the simulation, as you can see that I have designed a 64 channel DWDM system which are used to transmit the message from the transmitter to the receiver. As you can see that here transmitter is situated. As we click on the transmitter we see the properties which is showing that a number of output ports which are 64. The frequency, the starting frequency of the transmitter is 193.1 terahertz and frequency spacing is 100 gigahertz for every next wavelength or systems channels. The power is about 0 dB. After the transmitter, it is been multiplexed by the 64 bit multiplexer, which is further, here you can see that 64, the insertion loss in the multiplexer is about 17 dB. And the channels which are in the multiplexer, as you can see that it starts from 193.1 terahertz and is going up to 199.4 terahertz. And after the multiplexer, you can see the power reading, which shows about minus 1.825 dB. 
which is the gain of the multiplexer and it is also shows that the link budget after the multiplexer which is further given to the amplifier which having the gain of 20 dB to amplify the signal which is further given to the attenuator. The attenuator just it is used to com, com, it just, just it is used to combine two optical fibers as we can know that the optical fiber are not about various lengths. And after the optical attenuator it is given to the optical fiber which is further I have used about 75 kilometers. As you can click here the properties you can see that the reference wavelength used in the optical fiber is about 15 nanometers and the length is 75 nan kilometers sorry 75 kilometers. The attenuation loss in the optical fiber is about 0 0.33 dB per kilometer. After the optical fiber we can see that the power rating is about minus 6.548 dB and which is about in the sufficient amount of link budget which is about minus 5 to minus 7. And after the optical fiber this, there is another connected attenuator which is used just to attenuate the signal and there is another amplifier which is used to amplify the further which is given to the D multiplex 64 into 1 D multiplexer and from the D multiplexer you can see that the output is connected to the D multiplexer output is connected to the receiver and after the receiver it is connected to the bit error rate. Here the power of the D multiplexer you can note that it is about minus 12.763 dB which is given by the ITUT standard as we have used in the system. The receiver co consists of the various amount of optical detector and filters which are next connected to the bit error rate which is used to show the bit error rate of the system. As we click here we can you can see here the graph of the bit error rate which is about sinusoidal in nature. Here you can see that the maximum Q factor use is about 2.0064 about 2 and the minimum bit error rate is 0 0.0215045. The eyesight is about minus 2.63 and threshold is 7.486. This is the bit error. This is the bit error graph of the bit error analyzer which is shown by the time period and the quality factor of the system. Here you can see that the various devices are given that is quality factor. Here we click on the minimum bit error rate which shows the opposite negative side of the sinusoidal signal and the log of here you can see that the log of bit error rate and time period is shown by the graph here then the threshold is shown by the amplitude and time period and the height is shown in the amplitude and time period again to, to view the eye diagram you can click here in the eye diagram which shows the eye diagram click on the quality factor the blacks spots show the eye diagram and the red spot is showing the quality bit error rate of the system. Again coming to the system, coming to the transmitter, the transmitter consists of the transmitter consists of the optical channels which are CW laser, CW laser which are used to uh, supply the power, which are used to supply the power to the system which is further connected to the pseudo noise sequence and the non return zero which are further modulated by Maxander modulator and which is given to the multiplexer. Here you can see the various optical spectrum analyzer as I further told that it is a 64 channel system. Here you can see that 64 amount of frequencies frequencies are used are shown in the optical spectrum analyzer. Here you can see that unit is about in meter you can change it in hertz and the unit of amplitude you can change it in what? So it shows that the various amount of the channels frequency used which are varying from the 193.1 terahertz to 199.4 terahertz. Again coming to the analyzer component here you can see the optical power meter which is show the power of after the amplifier which is about 18.20 dB. Again coming to the different type of analyzer here we have used the WDM analyzer. WDM analyzer which is shown as it gives the various signal to noise ratios power noise powers and different thing as I will explain further.
16. As you can see in the WM analyzer, that the frequencies shown here that are different frequencies we are using. That the, same, the frequencies used in signal power is shown. For example, for 193.1 terahertz frequency, with the signal power is min minus 12.93 dB. The noise power is minus 44.81. The signal to noise ratio is 31. The noise power is again minus 40.83, and the optical signal to noise ratio is 27, which is absolutely good as compared to the previous system, which was about 90, sorry, 18. And as I have designed 64 channel system, the various 64 channels and their different outputs shown in this system. As you can see here, that the, optic, the various graphs between the signal to noise ratio of the various channels used. For example, we have designed for 8 channels, 16 channels, and 32 channels, which has been the optical signal to noise ratio is shown by the, the red signals show the optical to noise ratio, ratio of the 100 km fiber, and the blue shows the optical signal to noise ratio of 50 km fiber, which is compared for the 8 channels, 16 channels, and for the 32 channels. Here we have also compared about the bit error rate and the number of channels used, just like the optical signal to noise ratio that for 32 channel, 16 channel and 8 channels. The main advantage of developing our proposed MDWDM is the design is very simple. The more than 10 GBps of data can be transmitted to optical fiber. It is protocol independent. The large capacity of optical fiber is utilized. The system upgraded can maximize existing security. The high reliability and flexibility of networking and compatible with all the optical exchanges. Here are the, some references that we have used in the system for the designing of the proposed system. And we can, for further knowledge, you can refer to these references. And for any help, you can contact me, Shahid from Viltech. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Wait, I'm coming here. Okay. 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 Uh, zero, uh, zero, zero, one, zero, four, three, one, four, three. Okay, yeah, I'll see you on the bottom.